Upon entering an Orthodox Church, first and foremost, you'll, you'll encounter an area that's secluded. It's called the narthex. And that portion uh, has a couple of icons uh, of Christ, of our patron saint, St. George, uh, and also the Virgin Mary, and a place where you can light a candle. Now, once you enter the body of the church, the actual nave, uh, you will literally feel that you are in a special place. Uh, the way I like to describe it is that you are utterly in the presence of God. And that's why we have a beautiful Pantocrator or icon of, our, of the creator uh, of the world, of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, above us. And around him, we see hosts of angels and, and archangels flying around him and, 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 and praising him and worshiping. So the height of the dome and then the colors used as well that give us a sensation of heaven itself, of the skies and icons surround us and they encompass us uh, because icons are portals, they are windows to that world that we can't see. Uh, I like to describe it in the following fashion. Uh, when you're sitting probably in your house and somebody's outside from your window, if he stands in front of you, you can see a whole world on the other side of that window. And that person is standing in front of you, and if he's looking straight at you, you can see all of his features and characteristics and you can see something a whole world out there outside of just that window well that's why icons are written in the way they are written where we can see the faces and they are looking at us because they are basically on that other side a window that is that overlooks the presence of god and the kingdom of heaven and they on the other hand are looking at us who are still here in on this earth in this created world. And these two worlds collide in this mystical place, which is the body of Christ, the church. So that's why I love to have a church that's filled with iconography, because basically it's like a house with many windows.